in 10 Americans suffers from depression. At its worst, it can be debilitating, even deadly. And our guest today, Scott Brott, knows all too well how depression can impact one's life. In his book, Into the Light, A Middle-Aged Man's Recovery from Depression, he shares his story in hopes of helping others. Now, Scott, welcome. Tell us about your battle with depression that started when you were actually 40 years old. It started, ironically, at the age of 40. Um, most of the research in this field for men would say it normally starts between age 20 and 30, but in my case, it was later. Um, I'm a third generation sufferer, so I have mm. some genetics to pay attention to, but I need to also give attention to the fact that there were things going on in the environment that um, were, were dark, were sad, were unhappy, um, losing colleagues at work, um, mm -hmm. losing um, a favorite client, um, not having the energy I thought I should have or mm -hmm. need uh, normally, and, and those were signs that maybe I should look into getting help. Your family even intervened at one point. You had electroconvulsive therapy. I mean, th this, this was very, very serious for you. What was the lowest point for you, Scott? Well, that ECT was at the end of a five-year process. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is, is that it, it was the, uh, the antidote that, that set me free. Mm -hmm. So um, that was a low point, getting to that point and realizing I had to go that aggressively to mm -hmm. get better and get well. But um, even some of the more smaller low points include being so uh, ill that I hadn't been able to move around much get around the house, do nothing really except uh, lay down on the sofa and hang out with my two dogs, and mm -hmm. the, the energy level was, was gone, so I had to do something. Let's talk about the book. Why did you decide to write it? It had to be tough to open up like that. It's very private, and it's a very good read, but, but why did you decide to, to write the book? I think at the end of the day, after other solutions are not really coming um, to successful closure, I made a small little prayer with, with the Lord and said, hey, you know, if you can pull me through and out of this, uh, it's been so long, I, I promise to do something or write about it and write about the recovery so that others may, in fact, have a chance to learn on what works. We have about a minute left, so uh, how quickly, how are you doing now before we talk about where folks can get this book? Uh, my period of depression was a five-year period from age 40 to 45. I'm now 56. Mm -hmm. um, I've been free 15 years and it's ever since I had the ECT therapy mm -hmm. and uh, I'm pleased to say that the health is is, uh, is very very good. I feel very fortunate and you asked me about where else to get information about the y book? Yes, right. And the book is going to be at Barnes & Noble in August, but you can you can get it online. Uh, right now we put a link on our website to that, right? So there's an author uh, publishing website as well that there we can is. link to, there right? Is. And that's the book there, Into the Light. And Scott, I have to uh, congratulate you and thank you for having the courage to talk about it. It's not easy to talk about mental health issues. and. So thank you for having the courage to do that and share, and I'm sure you've reached some people out there. And also, we want to tell people about NAMI in Dane County, a great resource, a link to them if you're having problems with depression on our website, NBC15.com. Scott, thanks again. Thanks for writing the book and being here and sharing your story. We'll be right back with a final check of the forecast after this. Thank you.